That is Lovecraft Country episode three. Larry, summarize that episode for us, then break it down. Well, so this episode is kind of cool. It, it, this one, you get more of a true horror film sort of vibe to it. Mm -hmm. You know, the other one was sort of backstory. It was more drama than horror. You had the monsters out of the woods, which is, you know, was for some people might have been scary. It wasn't really scary. It was just more drama than, than horror. This one is more scary horror, what you would expect from a Jordan Peele. It is, yeah, it's, this one This one was a little freaky. I mean, I, when I say a little freaky, I mean hella freaky. And it was cool at the same time. It was, and part of it is the story was so good that mm -hmm. the scary, freaky part did not make you, did not make me, who does not like horror stuff, want to run away from it. it. I was so just intrigued by watching it all. So it, it starts off after they're both back in Chicago everybody's back in Chicago and Letty ends up getting some money. She's real. She's sort of, she's sort of, um, you know, deceptive about how she got it. She tells one person she hit the numbers. She tells somebody else that her, you know, her sister, that her mom left her money. And really what happened was, is that, 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 uh, that white lady that looks like she's a, a, a Nazi, you know, from Germany or something, that chick, actually gave her the money and she does if i was casting a movie about nazis and i needed a woman i would cast her she looks like one God. she looks like she looks like what someone would expect to be like that's the aryan race woman man so, this, this dude here man. i'm just saying that's what she looks like to me you know so so anyhow um she ends up buying this big old house. I mean, this mm -hmm. thing is huge. They, I think it says she said it had like 15 bedrooms in there. She was planning on making it like a safe space for black folks who needed to travel where they can come and stay. They can, she was going to rent some of the rooms out to people who need to live there. But what happened is that in that house, there was a white dude that used to live there that was an astrophysicist or something, but he also used to do human experiments. <clears throat> and so black people around the Chicago area would go disappearing during that time. And as we know, when black folks disappeared outside the black community, no one really cared. <clears throat> so this dude was basically taking these black folks and doing crazy experiments, like crazy taking the heads off of babies and putting them on other people, mm -hmm. you know, cutting people's limbs off and reattaching other stuff, just really sick, twisted, demented stuff. And apparently, you know, there were, you know, he died there. And when the, and when he died, I guess the, the, uh, the police said that they had found the bodies of eight dismembered black folks in there. And so it was just, you know, the house ended up, ended up where the house was haunted because that sick, demented dude that killed those people was sort of trapped there and was, and was haunting the place. And so Letty was in there and there, it just, it, it was, it was really the whole, I don't want to ruin it for people who haven't seen it, but it was really a story about them reclaiming this or claiming this house and really it was and, and there was a scene where she gets all of these all these black folks that have been brutalized and tortured by this man she gets them she gets together with them in their in their afterlife as they're a ghost she tells she draws upon their power and mm -hmm. tells them you still have power you still can fight back and she gets them to to, to band together and fight back and defeat this dude and and i guess i did ruin some stuff but there's a lot of other stuff in there but mm -hmm. it, is, it is a fantastic fantastic episode i don't know who wrote this episode right. but whoever wrote this episode i hope they get an emmy for it it was absolutely amazing so larry larry just basically said what i was going to say this was one of the best written tv shows it ranks up there in all time i mean the writing in this show was brilliant magnificent yeah. because like he said earlier the parts that would make you scary didn't really hit you as much as the great storytelling went on in this story and letty is hitting it out the park i mean yeah, she's just she is. hitting it out the park just when you think literally, atticus, too. literally. <laughs> yeah, yeah just when you think atticus is just gonna you know run with the lead in the show Laddie just always seems to still be the showstopper from episode to episode. And I don't yeah. want to per se spoil it that much either because I know some people didn't get a chance to watch it last night. So this is a very a soft spoiler. But 
the, watching what went on to help those people basically reclaim their power is what black people feel like we need to be doing right now at the voting box. Hell, we mm. ain't dead. We need to be reclaiming our power right now, marching to wherever we need to vote at, and taking back what we know belongs to us. Right. <laughs> and and you kind of can feel what Letty is going through when you think about the analogy I just put forth to you guys. So kudos to Jordan Peele for putting together just – it seems like every – Every episode could be almost a standalone episode, almost. I mean, this thing right. is really, really good, ladies and gentlemen. And um, if you're there not one watching- part of this, There's one part of this episode that I saw that I, I kind of, when I saw it, I called it, and then they confirmed it later. There was a scene where her and, um, where Letty and, and Atticus have sex, and, and he reaches down and there's blood, and she says, oh, I'm sorry, I just started my, my monthlies. And he was like, yeah, no big deal. And I was like, she didn't start her monthly. She was a virgin. I was like, that was her first time. I was like, and then later they confirmed it. And and I sort of suspected it because I wasn't sure that 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 scene, that scene when they were at the uh, at the mansion last week, last week. Mm-hmm. And and she right before they were getting ready to do it, she was like, hold on, hold on. It was like she was trying to tell him, I want to tell you something. Mm-hmm. And then all hell broke loose, obviously, because, you know, he had his Viper, his Viper thing in there and all that. But, you know, I kind of suspected it then, but I was like, maybe she's been a victim of some abuse or something. But, <laughs> you know, when, when I saw her bleeding in this episode, I was like, yeah, that wasn't a monthly. That was you just you just lost your virginity, you know. Mm-hmm. And right. so it was interesting, the whole thing. And, and you know, because they, they have her. They have her playing this role like she's this badass that's been around the world. She's supposed to be super worldly. You know, there was like even at the party, there was one of these dudes that say, oh, yeah, I used to get down with her when I was in school. And so and so used to get down with her. And and you can see Atticus over there just steaming up like he was about to whoop that dude's ass. Like you got about one more word to come out your mouth about her before I put you down, you know. Mm-hmm. But, you know, so it's like you you hear them talking about this. And then you realize, nah, they they may have like hung out with her. They may have done some kissing, and petting, and whatnot, but they weren't fully getting it in. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes because she just lost her virginity to him. She's already in love with him. And I, I'm hoping they end up hooking up for real, like for real, for real. Yeah, so. and, and we all know how hard it is to get over your first. In most cases, very hard to get over them. And Muchella, who. Definitely needs to be one of our showrunners. Always makes good points. Is talking about the scene with the bat, Larry. How she just went nuts with the bat. <laughs> yeah, she did. She was like, she was number forty-two, man. She was channeling. She was channeling Jackie Robinson right there. Yeah, she said she, she was went going ham with it. it. And Muchella, Muchella had 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 her feelings in on the elevator scene and how crazy that was. What'd you think about that one, Larry? Oh man, you know I knew something was gonna happen when they did when they showed that first when they showed that earlier. They always do a little foreshadowing. They always do it. And so when they when they had uh when they had Letty jump back from the elevator as it was coming down, I knew something was gonna go down with that elevator later. Someone was getting taken out. So it was cool how they did it. And it was crazy when they show at the very, very end how they hid those bodies and they had all those other skeletons oh. down there where a dude had been hiding bodies down there for years. Man, can you so. imagine? And I, and I mean, like, you know, not to get historical on you, but, you know, they did do eugenics to black people. They thought right. black people didn't have pain sensors, ladies and gentlemen. This, the, and the way Jordan Peele is weaving some of this stuff into this story, even though the yeah. story has its... It's magical elements. I mean, this is just, this is some damn good writing. And right. Larry, Blowfly 3000. Wonder what type of spell Dr. Epstein was trying to cast. Can you answer that question, Larry? You you mean from, from episode two? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> I can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, having said that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave it right there because it is definitely time for my shift with my daughter. Um, (laughs) Thank you all for coming out, tuning in to this live show. We'll be back on Wednesday where we will cover some great stock news, some stock tips. We'll cover what's going on in politics. We'll probably do a a preview 
to power coming on a preview. We'll save the preview for um, P Valley for Friday, but we'll do a preview to power. We'll do a preview for um, the boys that's going to come on Friday. And again, for everybody that tuned in, Wakanda forever, my people. Wakanda forever.